It's important to keep your GoPro camera updated with the latest firmware released by GoPro in order to benefit from bug fixes as well as added product features. In a previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the video description below, we've taken a look at how to update your GoPro firmware manually via the GoPro website. It's a slightly long-winded process of entering some information, downloading the update, transferring it to your memory card, and then updating the actual camera itself. GoPro have just made the entire process a whole lot easier. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner, where today we'll be looking at how to wirelessly update your GoPro firmware. It's a feature many users have been waiting for ever since the GoPro Hero 3 Plus range of cameras were released. The promise of being able to update your camera wirelessly using only your smartphone and the GoPro app. Although it took a while to get there, we now have this added ability and it seriously makes the process a whole lot easier. Let's take a closer look. A few things to note before you actually begin the process. The GoPro smartphone app available on Android as well as iOS needs to be running the latest version available. You should be running version 2.3 at the very least. The wireless update feature will not be present on any versions prior to this release. Also, ensure your camera has at least two bars of its battery remaining. Personally, I would advise starting with a fully charged battery if possible. The last thing we want is for the camera to run out of battery power halfway through an update, as this could end up damaging the software on the camera completely. Finally, back up any data on your memory card and reformat the card within the actual camera itself, so it's ready to receive the update files. Once we've checked both the app and our camera battery and card, we're ready to begin. Although you can now connect the camera to the app, I recommend not connecting just yet. Instead, open the app and enter the app settings by tapping on the settings icon in the top right corner. By default, the auto download setting will be switched on and this will automatically check for camera updates each time you open the app. Below this, we have a setting for using cellular data. If we had connected the camera to the app already, the app would now use cellular data to download the firmware update, since the GoPro does not contain any pass-through feature to allow the app to connect to the internet. If we enter the camera models menu, the app keeps a note of which camera you had connected to last. If I turn this setting off, the firmware for this version camera will obviously not be downloaded. Upon turning this back on, the app looks for and downloads the most recent firmware version available for that model of camera. Now we have the latest firmware version downloaded and stored by the app, we can go ahead and connect the camera itself. So I have a Hero 3 Plus Black Edition here, and by switching the unit on we can see it's running firmware version 1.04. The first thing we need to do after checking we have at least two bars of battery power is to enter the wireless settings on the camera. A quick way to do this is to use the button on the side to switch wireless on, and with the wireless now on indicated by the blue flashing LED and by the wireless icon on the LCD screen, simply press and release the wireless button again to jump straight to the wireless settings. Navigate into the settings to select GoPro app. We now enter the wireless settings on the smartphone and connect to the GoPro camera, just as you would normally. Bear in mind if you haven't connected to the camera before, the default password is generally GoPro Hero. Once connected, we can now enter the GoPro app and give it a second to find the camera. Before we even enter the camera, we see an additional icon on the top bar here. The presence of this icon informs you a firmware update for this camera is available, has been downloaded to the app, and is ready to be deployed. Simply tap the icon and the app will display some details informing you what the update will change or add to your camera. Once happy, tap the install button in the bottom right corner and follow any prompts to begin the update no information or serial numbers to enter whatsoever. The app will then begin transferring the update files across to the camera. The speed of transfer depends on your camera model, but is generally faster with the Hero 3 Plus range which contain a faster Wi-Fi chip. Once transferred, we simply leave the camera to do its thing. The update will be applied as normal and the camera may restart several times, informing you that an update is in progress on the LCD screen. Once the update is complete, the camera will switch back on as normal. If I switch the camera off and then back on again, we'll see it's now running the latest 2.00 firmware release. Note that following an update, the connectivity between the camera and the GoPro app will be lost. Simply enter your smartphone Wi-Fi settings to reconnect to the camera, and then relaunch the GoPro app. 
where you will receive confirmation of a successful update. Note how the update icon is no longer present since the camera is now already running the latest firmware release. When a new firmware is available the icon will simply reappear. Also bear in mind your camera will have reset back to its factory default settings, so it's a good idea to enter the settings and change them back to your own requirements. And that's all there is to it, a nice simplified way of wirelessly updating your camera without the need to be anywhere near a computer. Another great feature to add to the GoPro Hero range of action cams. If you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively feel free to check out the other GoPro videos in my channel by clicking above or in the description box below. Remember to subscribe as there are plenty more GoPro videos and tutorials coming shortly. See you next time in Ifty's Tech Corner.